my first year was like super tough because you know <laughs> I, I, I didn't know how to speak english yeah you know how to make friends how to enjoy conversation with people <laughs> and that was super tough bro but you know with the time i i, I got a, a, a teacher a, a tutor who was really there for me she was looking out and you know with the time trying to make conversation with people and everything yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah so things became more smoother and it actually took me i think six months to you know understand the language and then the other six months was like speaking yeah, and, yeah you know yeah. feel comfortable about it. but bro it was really <laughs> really tough <laughs> bro hold I up so so who discovered you over in your home home uh home country uh Mateneo? um Actually, I had a, a friend who used to play he, here in Laguna. His name is Eran Dike. He went to the state now. Okay. So he knows the manager of, of Ateneo, right? Ah. So I was back home. The, they had like, uh, I think, uh, they had like a three-on-three, three, but it wasn't like an official thing. But the national team of Cameroon went over in Ivory Coast to, you know, to play the three-on-three. Three. So my, I was at home, my friend called me and said, oh, we have like, they had like a pickup game there. Uh, no, three and three, if you want to join, there will be like a national players from uh, Cameroon and all that. So if you can join us, it will be okay. So I was like, okay, why not give it a shot? So I went there, you know, playing normal. But bro, I was tough on them. You know, my defense, me running everywhere, and everywhere, <laughs> defending on everywhere. And then the manager saw me, he was like, damn, boy, come here. What's your name? He asked my name, he took my contact. He said, he wanted to bring me over in Cameroon and then see uh, what kind of opportunity I can have from, from there. But, you know, things didn't flourish the right way. So he he knows he, he knew the guy here in the Philippines. So he contacted him like, if I can have something here in the Philippines, if he has something for me here in the Philippines. So the guy con- and, and contacted my manager. I think he didn't know me. Then I never seen the picture, videos or everything. And the fact that, I wasn't even supposed to be in Ateneo. I was supposed to go in TIP because TIP is the one who sent me the letter, you know, yeah. to approve that I have to come here in the Philippines. So when I get in the airport, I was I was stopped by, uh, by the immigration. They didn't want to let me go in. So they contact the Ateneo. Yeah, they contact the, the Ateneo uh, staff and everything if they can try to figure things out. That was the only moment that you talked to Ateneo when you were already in the immigration? yeah. Yeah, well, when I was talking the immigration, I didn't talk to them. He's the yeah. one who talked to them to yeah to let me. Go. And Atene so didn't went, know of you. Atene didn't know. They didn't know anything about me <laughs> until I came here. So when I first came, I, I, when I came, uh, he said, uh, "Talk to the Ateneo management if I could, you can give me a, like a tryout or something." So the night when I came, I went straight in Ateneo dorm. The next day, I went to practice. That's when everything. That's when everything began, bro. So, so this is like I can't say this is God blessed, <laughs> bro. So this was not at all part of your plan, bro. This yeah, was like a, a yeah. three day process from the immigration yeah. to dorm to, to practice, yeah. and then yeah. all the way now. Yeah. So this That's was. How things happen. So you fell on Ateneo's lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I, I can't, bro. I'll, that's why I'm always thankful to God because, you know, we never know what's going to happen. Yeah, no, and, man. Uh, it wasn't even planned. So, you know, I'm super, super thankful. And, and for sure, during that time, nothing against TIP, but during that time, mm-hmm. when they said, you can't go to TIP, you can go to Ateneo, you didn't know the mm-hmm. difference. Like, to you, they're all just Filipino schools. Like, uh, The guy actually told me Ateneo is a better school. This is why he brought me in, in in, in Ateneo but you know I didn't know I never see I saw TIP on, on Google when I was back home I saw TIP on Google <laughs> check the school and everything so that's how things begin man and so then, you were set that I'm going to TIP yeah so you had no time to research Ateneo nothing you just went to campus no, no. I had no time to reach out everything. Bro, like, but when you entered the campus, though, I'm sure you were like, damn, this is a big campus. <laughs> I was shocked, bro. I was literally <laughs> shocked. Think about someone like me who doesn't even understand English. I have to, like, know the place. and everything. Like, the first day, I got lost. I swear. I was lost in nothing new. Because, like, you see the, uh, you see Moro, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, uh, high school. And then the other, uh, uh, the, the, 
high school. Yeah. So it was at night. So when we first entered, we went straight. You know, you entered the gate, you, you know, we went straight in the, in the dorm. And the dorm is just straight. There is no <laughs> right or left or thing. So when I got to the dorm, the next day I was trying to, you know, they told me to go in tomorrow. Uh, I tried first by myself. I couldn't. So I went around, walking around. I couldn't ask people because I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> and then when I went back, I think Shaggy, you know Shaggy? Uh, yeah, Shaggy, Armand. Armand, right? Yeah. yeah. He's the one who picked me up and bring, brought me to tomorrow. So, so you, wouldn't, <laughs> you couldn't go to practice if Shaggy didn't? I could, yeah. I couldn't <laughs> go to practice if that, was in, if that was in Shaggy. Bro, so, damn, like, who's your manager? Why didn't he call you P? Come on, we also have connections in the immigration, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait so so the first day of practice they already said like they're gonna take you in they're gonna take care of you so they sent you to high school yeah. they, no they met the, the first day they made me practice with with, with team b first after b. team b i think high school had practice so i practiced with high school and after high school at night i was chilling coach uh, was looking at me what are you doing come join us and i practice with team a again so you had Just three the, practices that day yeah in the same day three practices Think about it. this is that was <laughs> but i didn't mind because like for me i really wanted to you know yeah yeah, start Yo. to show off and everything. Yeah, so, bro, you were 19. Come on, bro. Yeah, you were 18, yeah. 19. Yeah. So I didn't mind, like, whatever they going to say. I went, I'll keep practicing and practicing. Like, when I remember about those days, it made me feel, yeah, I keep smiling. <laughs> so this is a good anecdote, bro. No, but, but bro, like, I was telling on my, I was, I was, I had a story on my channel saying that I, I, I played with you, like, maybe in 2019, pre-covid yeah. because we we caught each other in moro and i was like yo like you just yeah, have yeah. fun playing basketball man you like you just enjoy it like you would play yeah. you don't care if you play in the uap finals or in like pick up in moro with nobodies and you just play the same way man. It, it's basketball bro i always play the same way you know no matter if it's like an important thing or, or know, if bro. it's like a pickup game and everything yeah. i'm just trying to enjoy myself you know yeah. It is the main purpose of it. Because if you don't if you don't enjoy yourself when you play, it's like, why am I doing this? Yeah, man. So sure. whenever I play the run, it's like to have fun and to make people have fun also. Yeah. That is how I am. Um, so when you came out here, you you knew no English, like zero? Zero, zero. Bruce, so how I would you talk swear, when you first arrived? Like nothing, you wouldn't I'm talk. Doing, like hand sign or whatever it is. <laughs> Like, ah, bro, that was super funny. Oh, my goodness. That was so funny. Who would you talk to? Had... No one? No one. No, I mean, basically, Ike. Ike is the, the one oh, who, like, Ike. you know, yeah. So, he Ike was the bridge. Uh, he doesn't speak French. Okay. He speaks English. But he uh, somehow, I don't know, but he used to understand me. I don't know why I didn't get it. But, like, he used to understand me. Because, like, I was always hanging out in his room, you know. Yeah. yeah always on his, you know, around him. Because yeah. uh, I didn't know how to speak English, so I first came. You know, after after teammate practice, they have like a buffet, so they yeah. eat and then you know going home. This is in the season. So after practice with teammate, I was you know quiet. I had like a small plate. You know, I was skinny. I was super skinny. So I eat my like I, I eat a bit and then just le le leave it out. First day you looking at me. Second day you keep looking at me. The third day went to me, hey, boy, you gotta eat, man. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I got like, <laughs> I have like a, a permit to go. <laughs> so the next day, oh my God, I had a huge plate. I was like, yes, boy, this is what I like. And then start to eat, 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 eat. And then I think we had the game and then I got injured, my knee. So, so he was like, so I was keep doing the same. And then you know when you get you when you get an injury, they don't allow you to run to you know play or anything. So I start to get fat. <laughs> and looking at me, it's like, boy, now you gotta slow down. Because you, <laughs> <'cause> you know, <laughs> <'cause> you, know <laughs> you know, you don't do any activities, so you better slow down. Oh, nah. You the one who told me I, I gotta do so. <laughs> Let me enjoy myself. <laughs> Bro, so, you gotta slow down there, boy. <laughs> like, yeah. Knowing no English, you spent six months just learning the language. Mm -hmm. 
So you were in high school during the time you were learning the language. No, no, I, I wasn't going to school at the time. Like I said, I give up one year. Oh, so you anything. just went here yeah, to really just to learn. Yeah, yeah, learn. I, I spent one year without go to school and anything, just to and, learn the language. And then the next and then year, after that, yeah, the next year they enrolled me straight in high school. High school. Where did you go for high school? Yeah. Uh, multiple intelligence. And oh, the one, yeah, the one, the one in front of Ateneo. <laughs> yeah, 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 the one, the one, yeah, the one in front of Ateneo. You, you would go to school, like you really graduated from that. Yeah, I went to, Damn, I was, man. Bro. bro, every morning. Like, I thought I it was a formality, bro. No, it was like legit. Bro, legit, man, legit. There were, there were a couple of times when I was late, like I, I used to go there because you know, it's high school, they start at 7 30. So there was a time when I, I, I felt super tired after practice and everything. So I have to wake up at seven, go go to work, go to school, and then the thing is, you know how Katipunan is is traffic. Yeah, it's hard to get a track <laughs> or jeep jeepney. So I have to work at the new until yeah, it's it's near. I think it's near by Miriam. LGB, it put down, yeah. You gotta pass yeah, Miriam, so bro. You gotta to... pass Miriam all the way to yeah, Petron. Pass Miriam, man. All the yeah. <laughs> so I work up from Ateneo to Petron. I take the bridge going to yeah, school. I the... swear, bro. Bro, that was super tough. God. Bro, that was every day. But every day. Every what time? Day. What time did you finish Saturday, school? Four around four, four, four thirty. So you were there the whole day, and, and then you go to practice. The whole day, bro. The whole day. <laughs> Sometimes I have to like I have to get food in the morning in Ateneo, like a lunch box. So I keep for uh, uh between you know mid mid how do you call that mid uh, yeah, yeah lunch recess. for lunch. Yeah, lunch yeah for recess I have to you know have my box eat my own food and everything. bro it was super tough man bro, so, I never miss a day so never you were you were living that high school life but you were doing college practice doing college it's not just college I do team B first and after that team A bro wait 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 Every so day. you would go to school seven thirty to four and then yeah. go straight to team B at yeah. like five yeah yeah and then team A at seven. No, because like sometimes you know team B, team B start at, at, at I think three thirty, yeah. and then they uh, finish by I think six. six. So I'm just drawing. I'm just always entering the practice, walking after walking from. So you go from, from literally mi practice. Yeah. Yes. So you have your stuff. No, I took my. I have like my. Oh my god! I swear, bro. bro. <laughs> All the way there, I'm work, walking, going to practice, and then after that, after team B, team A. So I your only rest was in day, between bro. team B and team A. Like you sit down and yes. you like <laughs> yeah. breathe. Bro, no joke. The thing is, after team, after team B, after team A, team A has like. Uh, gym lift with yeah. before going into practice. So still I go? have to do that, man. I still go. Bro. No joke, bro. Every single day. And then, damn. bro, that was super tough. So that this was, was a tough. whole the year? The whole year. Damn, bro. The whole year. <laughs> and then, you know, in high school, sometimes on Saturday, they have like activities and everything. Yeah. I have to be there. I have to do everything, man. I did everything. I swear. So, but that was fun, though, because like, you know, the the boys really make they made they really made it easy on me. And then you know in their mind it's not it's not just uh, it's not just Filipino student. It's like international school. Mm-hmm. So there is like people from Korea and you know other countries. So we kind of you know understand each other. Yeah. And yeah. They, they really made it easy on me. So you were an official like you know how it is here when they when they move you know they move stuff just so that it can happen. So you were an official like graduate mm-hmm. and student of MI. That's crazy, bro. Damn. I bet during that time though you were yeah, it wasn't. As tiring as now, thinking back at it, like I can't believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's now it's college, so I kind of enjoy myself better than yeah. High school. So, uh, so when yeah. you moved to college, bro, that was a different experience. Yeah. Man. College, Ateneo College, bro. <laughs> you know what it is. College was super, especially first. Uh, my first year was in Ateneo. We have like. Uh, the how how do you call that the the fresh freshman thing they have a thing like they call yeah. uh, or or sam or sam or sam or sam or yeah, sam, sam. Yeah, yeah. sam god bro that was the best that's the best event of Ateneo <laughs> no other thing I mean except except the bonfire but this is the yeah. best event of Ateneo I swear man you know, that was for me college was like one of the best my best one of my best experience in in yeah. in the entire Philippines because you know, you get to you see like the the 
college life what you see in the tv where you know people yeah. are having fun but like the thing is you got to focus on your study no matter how the oh, distraction yeah, sure. around and then focus on the on the main goal yeah. Like, so yeah it, bro like college life is just especially at the name bro especially at the, I, I, yeah. I i never went to the but like the stories and like everything and i understand mm-hmm. like you i know how focused you are on basketball especially in yeah. season you don't do any like extracurricular shit like it's just uaap not just on season like pre-season i start pre-season i start to focus like yeah I'm for locking. sure i know but locking. i want to know that post-season life after season, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is wild. what I want to know, bro. Like, this, like Coach Tab can't say anything because this is post-championship. Post yeah, post-championship. Like, Coach Tab, I did my job. We won the chip. <laughs> Let me be. <laughs> bro, bro, that's also I'll... one of the best, the, the best feeling ever, especially after winning a championship. Man. Yeah, bro. God, man. God. Because the boys like started testing. Oh, guys, tonight we catch each other there. I want to see everybody there. Nobody has to miss. Nobody has to miss. And you know, we there, we enjoy. It. So this is the only moment where we all enjoy each other's presence. Like it's super crazy, man. It's super crazy, and it kind of feels like feels like family, family, like family yeah. gathering. Bro, where Just would you go? Where would you go? We went in, I think, early night. Yeah, early, early night. night. Yeah, for the celebration, man. Early so, night, bro. So, no, but then, like, on your on the other nights, not just the main celebration night, like, weekly, mm. where would you guys head? Weekly, because the thing is, in the base of weekly, we still have, like, a requirement to give. So, I mean, I won, uh, we won the championship, yeah. right? And I have, like, I still have, like, exams and, yeah, I get you know, you. Yeah, yeah. papers after, to submit though, and all bro, of that. So, after. like, after that, oh, man, it's wild. <laughs> It's Bro. wild. We're going, we're going everywhere. Katipuna, uh, <laughs> pop up, uh, wherever you want, pop up. BGC, oh uh, BGC, enjoy, man, enjoy the time, bro. Oh, That's the good God. thing about it. After after a long time of practice, because like it's like nine months of focusing, yeah. just focus on basketball and studies. The short of time, because this everything happened in December. Because the championship is like December yeah. 5 or something. Yeah. So by 15, you're already done with school and all that. You have like New Year, New Year. New Year. New Year, <laughs> New Year Christmas break, all of that for yourself. So and you wouldn't... super, super fun. So when you would go out, are you still single? Yeah, I'm still single. Ready to mingle, joker. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, Bro, <laughs> so you never had a girlfriend the whole time you were here in the Philippines? Uh, I had a girlfriend. I had I had two girlfriends actually. But you know. uh, but but when you w- during the time that you were telling me that you would go out, you were single. Yeah, I was single. Bro, I, I can imagine. Single. Like, so how are the Filipino girls, bro? Oh, uh, actually, I never dated Filipino Filipino. Oh, for real? That's the thing. Yeah. So when you would go out here, Filipino. you would you would like mingle or approach like? No, bro. I don't. I don't know. I'm a nice guy. I'm nice. I'm not saying anything, bro. I didn't say you were nice. I'm just saying you would talk to girls. That's like... what I'm saying, bro. Make no. Nah, I'm kind of like trying. Me, I'm kind of like you know know the person better, and then you know, I know see what we can. Take. You yeah, would approach them and talk to them. Yeah, that's and what I'm message saying. Message them. But, yeah. But I didn't then, say anything. Like <laughs> I know you said something. You said, <laughs> you said something. <laughs> is that when you're going out and then you get yeah. the girl when you go ready out. to mingle? <laughs> no, like when you go out, you would approach them, talk to them. My name is Ange. <laughs> <laughs> you said that. <laughs> so you're a nice guy. So you can yeah, like yeah. you can honestly tell me right now when you go out in terms mm-hmm. of like mingling with the with girls and the opposite sex, you're a nice guy. Yeah, I'm a nice. So your boyfriend material. Husband material. Just oh, <laughs> 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 this guy, this guy, gonna cook breakfast for you. Gonna make you coffee. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I can't say that. Uh, oh, so yeah. you're a nice guy. Okay. So you're not like, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was before. I mean, to be honest, I think my my first year and second year. But when you start to see the same thing every day, every day, it's like, nah, nah, I don't. I don't really want to put myself there, you know, trust anybody or whatever. So, so, like, you, yeah. so you've never dated a Filipina? Never. You don't, 
I mean, I mean Filipina, but like mix, you know, mix. Like, uh, but not even grew up here. Oh, so like yeah. just like you, like just came out here and yeah, they're now yeah, here, yeah. but but not Filipinas yeah. who really grew up. Yeah. Is that a is that a preference? Uh, no, I mean, you know, when you go for chicks, you know, <laughs> when you look at, I mean, I don't say Filipinos, but they, they're not chicks. But oh, like, okay. So, no, no, don't, like your type. Don't your get type. me wrong. I know, I know yeah. for sure. But so Filipinas just aren't your type, like superficially. It's not, like it's not my type. It's not like it's not my type. But like, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't say, how I'm, I don't know how I'm going to put it in words. But so like, what's your type, bro? Foreign, you know, foreigners, like, like foreigners. Like foreigners is a kind of like, I, Trying to feel the you know interaction noisy yeah, and, you know I get the, you, I the get vibe you. is like more friendly compared to Filipina. And nothing, it's more nothing about like interaction, it's more about like like chemistry and yeah, and ke- chemistry and and how do you say that? Uh, and the, the the connection, the connection. Yeah, the connection. Yeah. And honestly, bro, I mean, I I grew I grew up out here. Like I I, I yeah. never spent time in the states, but yeah. I think I think you could be a little intimidating for Filipinas. You get what I'm saying? Really? really? I mean, come on, bro. You're six nine, six ten. Yeah. You're six ten. No, I think you're six eleven, bro. Eleven. Exactly. Eleven point five, actually. <laughs> okay. Point five. <laughs> bro, we can round that up. You can round that up to seven, bro. But bro, I got shocked, man. Because we were in the bubble, they check it. You're six eleven. You didn't know. Six eleven, eleven point five. I'm like, what? You didn't, know. <laughs> you didn't know. I didn't know, man. I thought that was like six ten. Or, like, <laughs> even when you look, when you check the news, somebody says six nine. Somebody says six ten. Yeah. Says so now it's eleven. official. So now official, it's six eleven it's and official. a half. It's official. I'm six and six eleven point five. <laughs> yeah. If you round that up, though, that's seven, bro. Yeah. Damn. I mean, you know. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy to think that Kai Soto is taller. Like, how the hell did he's a taller, Filipino? He's... How the hell did a pure Filipino get seven two, seven one? I do not know, bro. <laughs> he's seven three, I think. If I believe, he's seven three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you go out, it's really just purely having fun, drinking and partying, yeah. and like, damn. I'm not drinking, drinking, because like. Oh no, I no! Like I'm sure it. you don't go hard, like wild. Yeah. Like enjoy, just, just like, enjoy at yourself. I just yeah, enjoy, enjoy myself. I'm not uh, even going out to. To drink, drink. I'm just going out to like interact to feel the yeah, feel yeah, the, the vibe, you know, yeah, feel yeah. the vibe. Yeah, the yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah, bro. Being, being in the moment, enjoying with other yeah. people. So, not really for drink. What are the Filipino traits that you've noticed that now you have? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like Filipinos, like Filipino traits that you just realized that damn, I'm Filipino. I have now. it now. <laughs> yeah. Now I start to say for to people calling, calling. People, Tito, Tita. <laughs> and, and, and. Do you mano now? Yeah. Do you mano? Yeah, I mano too. I mano. Oh, you mano, bro. I mano, bro. I mano. So you feel it now, like you're Filipino. Yeah, I can tell. The only thing is the the language deficiency. But oh, I'm gonna get sure. there. For sure. For I'm sure, gonna get sure. there. I mean, the po, the opo. Uh-huh. How do yeah. you cuss? How do you cuss now? Do you still cuss in French? Or... I, I cuss in Filipino, bro. You cuss in Filipino now? <laughs> you get that? Remember when we used to play? Yeah, bro. Remember yeah, bro. I, I was like, play. who said that? Like, he said, he said, he said P.I. in an accent. Like, who said that? <laughs> bro, even in practice, bro. <laughs> So on the court Even now, you practice, cuss in Filipino yeah. now. Yeah, 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 I cuss in Filipino. But you know yeah. a couple of Filipino words now, like Filipino phrases yeah. at least, not just cuss. Yeah. I know, I know Filipinos. I know especially hoopers. When an import comes in, the first thing they teach them is, um, is puta vida, like, gago. Yeah, yeah, you already know, you already know. Parang dami yan eh. Yeah, lakitite, lakitite. Bro, Filipinos. <laughs> You know who would teach me those bad words? You know BJ and Daddy, right? Yeah, BJ. He is the one, man. The first. <laughs> him and, and, and Sean in the first one. Sean. Him and Sean. <laughs> ah, yeah. When I first came over, they were on my ass. Those two of them. <laughs> two of them. Um, like, like, these are my guys, man. Six, yeah, bro. Like, and to notice the Filipino in you already. I bet, like, when you see free food, I yeah, mean... <laughs> <laughs> you already know I'm, I'm in it. <laughs> that's, that's the you Filipino mentality. I don't know about you guys at home, but here in the Philippines, oh like God. when someone tells you, yo, you want to go out with us? It's free. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. You already know, man. You already know. The thing is, the thing is, 
the only thing I kind of like, I'm gonna be honest, I hate yeah. about the Philippines is whenever you go to a party, yep. the party is over. We gotta go home, man. Yeah, no, 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 oh we don't go. God, we bro. get breakfast, bro. Oh my, we God, get bro. oh my God, man. That's the only thing. Because, like, me, I like to rest a lot. Nope. You know, nope. I, like to, I like to rest a lot. But, like, we go into the party, they're gonna, after a long conversation, uh, for me, I believe we said everything. There's always something's gonna show up. Always, man. Bro. Always. Bro, when the party oh is over God. here, there's yeah. another party somewhere party. else. Yeah. Or rather, they're gonna karaoke or do yeah. something. Oh my karaoke. God. But, <laughs> bro. And the worst but, case is, yo, let's honest, go to McDo. Let's go to McDo. That's the worst yeah, case. Let's go, yeah. <laughs> let's go to McDo. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. It never ends. But the bro. thing is, yeah, Filipino parties is pretty fun, though. It's pretty fun. If you shine, you're gonna. You're gonna try. You're always gonna fit in it. Yeah, bro. But the thing is, it's, it's too much. Man. It's too much. Too much things is a bit the yeah. yeah. So you would go home the with mystery. the sun up. Kind of. Yeah, sometimes like kind like I, like that college life. If the sun isn't up, you didn't maximize the night, bro. Yeah, but for me, I think like whenever I don't feel it, I just go home. I won't gonna. Oh, uh, you know, would just you would just uh, yeah, you would just yeah. bounce. But the first yeah. few times, I'm sure you were shy to bounce, and you would be like, well, "Where are we going now? Yeah. Where are we going?" But the now? thing is. When I first came, you always got to arrive with someone. Like, yeah, you know, true. I have a car or everything. So you got to wait for them. If they haven't done, you haven't done yet. So you got to wait for them. You would sit on the <laughs> so side this... like, when are we going home? Yeah. When... <laughs> this is me. I can imagine, bro. <laughs> I can imagine, bro. Like, the, the moment you get it, you'd be like, let's go. And then, let's like, go. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you'd be like, when are we going home? I want to go oh home. Oh, my God. I want to go home. <laughs> Yeah, this is me. This is literally me. <laughs> Bro, that, and the funniest thing is they would always be like, oh, Makdo, G, G, Makdo. G, G, G. Tra, bra, tra, tra, sige. Tra, tra, tra. And then you would go. be like, oh, man, you just got to follow yeah, them man. back to the car. And then we in the are, car on the way there, you'd be like, oh, I want to go. Yeah. Some like, people don't even go to, to eat it. Some people go to, like get really? fries and ice fries, cream. Fries, ice cream. cream. Like, yeah, like, what like the they hell? just don't want to go we home. We went to Milo to eat. Like, they just don't want to go the home. They really want to, yeah, they want to stay around. Yeah, they're down to do Talk, anything, just not go home. Yeah, I don't know, like, is there something at home? So now I want to ask, like... <laughs> bro, I don't know, Like, bro. like I, I, no, no, I'm like the... fire in your house or something? I'm the same type. Like, I would be down 12, mm. but around 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I'd be like, yo, let's go home. Because mm. cause I feel like I'm going to yeah. waste the whole day tomorrow if I don't sleep. All day, yeah. yeah I'd wake up at that's like true. 2 p.m., 3 p.m. That's the whole waste of a day. But this is I, me. This is me. This is I get me. you, bro. Like, Filipinos just don't want to go home. Well, like, yeah. They feel like even if they have nothing else going on, I gotta be out till like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. And I'm, I'm the same way, bro. That's why when I go to parties, I have my own car. <laughs> no way am I riding with anyone. No way. No way. Or that's I'm the, ready to grab. Mindset, I'm bro. ready to grab. <laughs> that's the mindset, man. If I feel like nobody wanna go home, I just get my grab. Okay. Bye guy. I love you like, guys, but I gotta go. If you don't have a girl with you who also wants to go home already, like you're with you're, you're just with the boys, yo, it won't end. That's true. It won't end. That's super true. No way. Especially Filipinos, when you they ask you like you want to go out, I'll pick you up. Mm. <laughs> I'll pick you Great. up right now, Ange. Let's go. Like that's how Filipinos really? are. Yeah, that's how Filipinos are. And then you're like, no, I mean. Girls never ask me to go party. No, not yeah. girls, bro. Guys. Uh, bro. Uh, guys. People will think girls I hear, up, I bro, no? girls not money. I... I'm chilling, bro. I, I'm not about that girl life. Mikey. I'm not I'll about see. that girl. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm taken at the moment. I want to, like, yeah, no, I I'm know. serious. I'm serious story, bro. I'm serious at the... the moment. I'm cool. But yeah, I'm not about that. I'm not about that. Bro. I'm a good Woo! boy. Boy, you don't want to show yourself in the media. Huh? <laughs> show your... I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. You keep it one. You keep it hundred percent, bro. That's why I'm here. <laughs> no, 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 no. That part <laughs> I got. <laughs> that part I can keep it ninety nine percent. Ninety nine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna touch that, okay?